The ICU is simultaneously the quietest yet loudest ward. Patients sedated and strapped to their beds appear to be sleeping in peace. It's not until you get closer that you're reminded of the internal chaos and external measures keeping them alive. It's only when you zoom in that you're reminded that this is not a patient at rest. It is a body raging against the dying of the light. This summer, I've had the honor of spending every morning observing critical care rounds. As a medical student, it took some time to adjust to the ICU environment. Where I've seen patients deteriorate in a matter of a few hours, a patient's wife sob in her husband's room, and heard piercing moans echo in the hallways. One can say that the ICU is a place of loss, of frailty, but I've come to realize that resilience is a matter of perspective. You can choose to either see the patient as dying or fighting to be alive. As physicians, we have the privilege of beholding the most heroic forms of resilience, withdrawing care for a loved one, recovering from a transplant surgery, enduring chemo, but also its simplest manifestations. Taking your first steps after a stroke, breathing unassisted after days on a ventilator, being able to call a loved one for the first time. We, in turn, become humble witnesses to the notion that sometimes resilience is just survival, and sometimes it's knowing when to let go.